Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat if I'm visible as well as equally audible? Then we would start right away. Let me turn on my preview screen. Okay, thank you, Shruti. Thank you, Talent. Next. Okay. So we would just wait for one minute, then we would start right away. Okay. So just one minute so that everyone gets the notification and they join. Okay. And then we would start. Okay. Okay, so we would start. So today we would be doing yesterday's problem of the day that is segregate even and odd nodes in a linked list. Okay, so obviously this would be a linked list question and this is an easy level question but okay but in the article okay it is referred to as medium level problem. Okay, this has success percentage of 64%. Now let us move to the problem statement. Okay, the problem statement is very easy to understand, but let us visualize this. We are given a linked list of size n. Okay, suppose n is equals to 7, so we would be given a linked list of 7 like this. Okay, so how many elements is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Good enough. Such that we need to modify the list such that all the even numbers appear before all the odd numbers in the modified list. Okay. Now, one more thing is that the order of appearance of numbers with each segregation should be same as that in the original list. Now, what do you mean by that? Okay. After the segregation, okay, suppose it is given as 2, 4 and 6. Okay. So, after, after segregation and then combining it, okay, the value should be like this only 2, 4 and 6. We can't keep this value like this 2, 4 and then 6, 4 and 2. This is not applicable but this is accepted. Okay. The ordering should be same. Okay. Kind of subsequence. Okay. You can relate this with the subsequence because in the subsequence also the ordering is preserved and in this question also the ordering is preserved. Good enough. Okay. So now what is the first thing that we need? The first thing that we need to keep just a sec. Something just went inside my eyes. Okay. Okay. So now the order of the appearance, okay, such that all even numbers appear before the odd numbers. So what are the even numbers first? Let us consider all the even numbers in the way, okay. 8, 2, 4 and 6. These are the even numbers here. So we would write 8, then 2, then 4, then 6. Okay. Yeah, Siddharth, it is good enough. Now we would write 17 then 15, then 9, okay, and the end would be null, okay. This is how it should be converted. First, the even numbers in the same order, that is it is given in the question, and then the odd numbers, okay. Good enough. So, now we would move on with the solution, okay. So, what would be the solution of this? The solution of this is kind of simple one, okay. How and why, let us see. Okay, so let us first copy this test case, add to a new page and then let us start with this. Okay, good enough. Now what we would do is, we would initialize two pointers, okay, two pointers. The first one would be, or we can say two nodes, okay, we would initialize two null nodes, okay. So we would initialize two null nodes, one would be even, even and one would be odd. Okay, and we would keep adding it. But what the thing is that if we keep adding it, we would be moving forward. So we want another node which was which would tell us which is the start of the linked list. Okay, so what we would do is we would initialize two. Okay, so we would initialize even start 
and then even end then odd start and then odd end and all these will be nodes okay and everything would be null okay everything would be null everything is pointing to null at this point good enough so now suppose the first element is 17 the first element is 17 okay so this is an odd number okay this is an odd number so we would go to this section okay now we would check that if the odd start is null or not if it is null but we found a position so this is so we can know that the odd start has not been modified yet so what we would do is odd start odd start would be pointing to 17 and odd odd end would also point to 17 okay now we found one more that is 15 this time we would again check if odd start is null or not no this time odd start is not null why because it is pointing to the number 17 so what we would do is we would mark the odd even next okay so what we would do is we would increase this pointer initialize 15 and then right here the odd end okay odd end now this point now again we got 8 okay now the current element is 8 it is even so it won't come to the odd section so what it would do is it would first check if the even start is null or not yeah Siddharth even start is initially null only so what we would do is we would keep 8 and then initialize even start and then this would be even end itself good enough now we would increment this pointer simply then we got 9 9 is what odd number we would again check if odd start is equal to the null or not no odd start is pointing to still 17 so what we would do we would append 9 here and we would make this as odd end good enough Siddharth let's move forward okay now again it is 2 what we would do is we would simply add 2 and odd even end would mark at this position okay this would be 2 okay let me remove this so this would be more clear okay good enough now we again we got a 4 okay again we got a 4 4 is even okay so again we would append even and then mark it as even end okay and then we would remove this good enough now again we got 6 okay so 6 is still an even number what we would do is we would again mark this as 6 and mark this as even end even end we have marked it okay good enough so odd start is marking at this position odd even end start is marking at this position and even end is this position odd start odd end okay so now what do we need to do in the question it is given that all the even numbers appear before the odd numbers okay so even number would be first so first even then odd so what we would do is what we would do is even even start is this even end is this so we would mark the even ends next is equals to odd start okay odd start so we would mark this and now if you see the ordering is like this only okay odd like it is 8 2 4 6 and 7 15 and 9 okay this is what we would do now there is one more case to it okay now there are some corner cases to it so if we just solve the example it would it can be solved like this only okay okay it can be solved like this only now there can be more examples to this what is this more example is that it might be the case that there are no no even okay neither even ni see suppose it might be the case that there might exist no elements even elements okay so no even elements so just remove all this okay just remove all this okay just remove all this so now no even elements remain okay even and okay now no even elements remain so we need to check if the even end would now even start is now null only 
so we would just take even start is equal to null so we don't need to go in that position we would just report odd start as the answer first case now the second case is that odd start is not remaining if the odd start does not the is not there is not there suppose odd start is not there we just have the even so we are returning the even start only okay if this would be null okay this would be pointing to null which is odd start if it does not exist then this this answer would remain the same so there are three condition either there can be a mix of even and odd in the case of even or odd we can we would make two separate and we would just join it if there is only even we can see that even would come first so we don't need to do anything about it and the next is odd is only there even is not only there in that condition we just need to check if the even start is equal to the null or not even start would not be updated if there is no even numbers okay so we would just make just check if it is null then we would just report the odd start only and that would be our answer okay now let us move to the uh, implementation now okay and then i would wait and if you have any doubts regarding this session just ask me in the chat itself okay now quickly tell me ankita shruti and talent next are you clear with this or not quickly tell me if there is no even or no odd then the question is same as the given input yeah if there is no even no odd okay if there is no even no odd okay so what we are reporting we are reporting or we are reporting even start okay we are reporting even start so we can see that if there is no even no that then this would be none only null okay so this would report none only so we don't need to handle this case okay so if there is no even no odd then this initialization is made null only so we don't need to bother about bother about this thing okay pavan are you clear with this okay let us move to the implementation and again we would do the dry run okay now at first es would be okay we don't need the dry run because the test case is absolutely same now we would just do the dry run of the case when there is only one odd okay only one odd okay this case seems a little bit odd one out okay good one good one okay what we would do is we would initialize everything with null okay or even start even end odd start and odd end okay and we would make a current node so that we can just iterate okay we would just iterate how can we iterate suppose this is 17 this is 18 this is 19 so what we would do is we would first go to this position and then make this position to this position again make this position to this position this is what we are doing we are first saving the current dot data in x if it is even we would first check if it is null if it is null we would mark both the same okay and if it is not null we would mark next as next and ee would be updated that is ee would be updated okay just see the implementation now if this is null the just the reverse of it just the reverse of it and it would be the same now if odd end is not equal to null odd next is equal to null okay good enough now odd start is equals to os and odd next is equals to os okay just this case this case is a little bit tricky one if there exist all the cases okay just let me maximize this case yeah so if odd end is not equal to null we would make it null okay good enough now if odd start is equals to equals to null that is there is no odd okay so even start would be the odd start i would just replace it okay if that is not the case we would mark even end dot next is equal to odd start we are suppose these are two lines we are just even even end dot odd start we are just marking this if there is no line that is suppose there is no line there is no line so we would just mark it as this would be this line okay this is what we are doing okay now this is clear or not can i have a quick yes or no okay i would wait for the next two minutes and then if i don't get any doubts okay i would be turning the session off okay and general doubts are welcome too okay now 
while i am waiting there is a announcement for you what is that announcement there is a course on data structures with c++ and this course is specially designed for the beginners okay which have no experience for programming and for the intermediates who want to master data structures okay now in this course you would be taught about all the implementations and you would be and you would be a master on data structure now talking about this who is the mentor and who the i am only the mentor of this course and this course will start from 13th of november and there is a geek offer that is going on okay and in this offer if you just apply this coupon code you would get a discount of 1200 okay over the price and the price would effectively be 5300 okay approximately 5000 5299 okay to be specific okay so avail this if you want to buy this before the offer ends okay sir what arrow uh, sir what arrow denotes in code okay once more please okay just see this and you would get to know where where did i draw i oh, just go to that and uh, okay i don't know i can't go back actually so just do the uh, i have said the dry run hold dry run just see the dry run okay sir what arrow denotes in code okay 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 just see for it by yourself what arrow denotes in code that is that is a homework okay and if you want to know what arrow denotes in code just do one thing practice a lot of question on linguist and you won't ever ask this question to anyone and you would know it by yourself first read about it and then solve a lot of question like detect a loop in a linguist remove the loop in a linguist this all question should be done by you and then you would be able to know you won't be asking this question okay one okay so that's it for today i don't see any other doubts coming okay thank that's all for today thank you and have a nice day this is miss siddhartha signing off thank you again